Hello everyone and welcome back to Need for Speed Unbound once again. Today we are going to be doing the Aston Martin DB11. Uh, as you can see it has a top speed of 202 miles per hour with a 0 to 60 of 2.9 seconds and a quarter mile of 10.5. For parts we have the Pro Induction, the Super ECU, the Pro Fuel System, the Pro Exhaust, the Elite Screw Supercharger, with the Sport NOS, the Neutral Suspension, Elite, Elite Brakes, Elite Grip Tires, Elite Clutch, the 6-speed gearbox with the Elite Differential, the Super Nitrous Grip and Super Nitrous Drift. This is the stock 5.2 liter V12 engine for this car. And for the handling, we have 90% grip with steering sensitivity and downforce set all the way to high. Uh, so let's go hop into a race and see how this bad boy does. Alright, so it looks like I'm going up against a Lamborghini and a uh, Charger, maybe? Ah, yes. We'll, we'll see how this build does here. It's been quite a while since I've actually used it, because um, I completed the Aston Martin playlist thing a long time ago. Ooh. I didn't get the best launch, but we'll see how that plays out here in a minute. Think I'm starting to catch this Lamborghini? Looks like I am. Oof. Did not mean to do that at all. That was an accidental, like, snap turn. <laughs> really didn't mean to turn that much. Oh my goodness. I am just having a lot of problems being off-road, apparently. There we go. Ah, turn you boat, turn. Yes, I see you there. Don't worry, I will not run into you. Hopefully. <laughs> I swear they just add traffic and subtract traffic from this section of this race every time or the similar race because there's another one that goes through there but it ends down at the bottom of that hill rather than turning I managed to put pretty decent distance between me and the Mercilago I wasn't worried about the guy that just dropped actually <laughs> Most of the muscle cars in this game are no bueno. So not bad considering I have not raced with this build in quite some time. Uh, managed to win that race. Even come from behind of a bad start. So that's good. This is not the greatest S-Class car in the world, um, but it's good for the Aston Martin challenges. And you can win with it. That was just demonstrated. Um, but if you're up against something like a well-tuned F40 or something like that, you're probably not going to win. Unless they really can't drive. <clears throat> Let's see how this thing does off-roading. Because there's a bit of that in this race. Hey, I didn't mess up my launch this time. And off-road, we will probably lose some speed. Hey, I didn't have to hit the train. That was a plus. It was just enough out of the way. Hmm. 
So yeah, like I said, not the best S-Class build in the world, but it'll get the job done against things like Mercilagos, Hurricanes, Hurricanes, however the heck you say it. Um, and it's good for the Aston Martin challenges. Would I race this car any other time? Probably not. Maybe if I spent a lot of time and went back and built it from the ground up and did an engine swap, then maybe it'd be viable. But for the most part, I don't find it viable for anything other than the few things I just said. I mean, as you can see, I am pulling on this Mercilago right now. But that's not a surprise because a lot of times the Mercilagos in this aren't tuned very well. I love the car. But, oh god. It's just usually not tuned the best. Ugh. And I am just not having a good time driving right now either. Because I thought the train was coming towards me instead of going away from me. So I tried to avoid it in a way I didn't really need to. It's not doing as bad on the off-road portions as I thought it might, so that's good. Yeah, this thing's like, doesn't get much grip burst nos coming out of corners on this. Like, it really just doesn't for some reason. And there's a reason you don't see a whole lot of these uh, being raced around in game either. got me off the line there let's see if I can catch back up and uh, win this one I know a lot of people take that shortcut through the grass there I don't like it because I lose too much speed I feel like I much more prefer to stay on the road oh you want to be a dirty racer now huh There we go. Took a little bit more than I thought it would, but I finally got in front of him. Ooh, he lost it in that corner back there. Just when this was shaping up to be a good battle. See, will he catch me in the dirt? The bane of my existence in these races. I don't understand why so many road races have off-road sections. Like, they had options for off-road parts and that and building vehicles to be off-road, but included nothing of off-road in this game. Which is fine with me because I don't like off-road stuff that much. Um... But if you wanted to do off-roading, you should have just put off-road in. Like, simple as that. And we'll fly down the hill for the third win of this.
Okay, so as you can see, it is good enough to beat a Mercilago. I don't think it'll beat an F40 or a Testarossa or anything that's at the high end of this class. Definitely won't beat a Golf or an S2000 or a McLaren. But it has its its role in the game and its place in the game. So I hope you liked this video today. Please subscribe and like if you haven't already to help me grow my channel. And I'll catch y'all on the flip side. See you later.